Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel Salesforce FAQs and today in this video we are going to discuss something that every Salesforce admin needs to know that is how to assign permission sets quickly and efficiently using the data loader tool. So this method of assigning permission sets using the Salesforce data loader tool is, is a real time saver when managing multiple users. So let's get started. First I would like to tell you what are the permission sets in Salesforce and how they are useful. So permission sets in Salesforce are a collection of settings and permission that grant user access to various tools and functions. So every time you create a user, you assign a profile to the user. But many of the times that profile is not eligible to access some records. And there might be some situations like a manager is going on the leaves and a user is supposed to take care of those records for those many days. But that user cannot be assigned a profile of manager. So in that case, we assign permission sets to that user to access those records. And this permission set you can consider it as an additional set of permission. So I hope you understand what are the permission sets with this quick recap. Now I will show you how you can assign permission sets to multiple users using the Salesforce data loader tool. And before that, I will also show you the manual method so that you will come to know how efficient it is to use the data loader tool to assign the permission sets to the users. So as of now, I have logged into my Salesforce org and first I will show you the manual method through which we generally assign a permission set to user. So this method is useful when you have to assign a permission set to one or two users. And so in that situation, you can approach the manual method. So on the setup page of Salesforce Lightning, you have to go to the quick find box and here search and select users. And in the user settings, you have to select the users to which you have to assign the permission sets. So for example, I am selecting the users Emma Evans. And uh, after opening the user setup, you have to scroll down to the section permission sets assignments and here you can see this button edit assignments so you have to click on this button edit assignments so as of now the accounts of this user is disabled so make sure that the user to whom you are going to assign permission sets is a active user so i will go back to the user setup and this time i will select an active user so this time i have opened the user account liam lawson and for this also i will scroll down to the section permission sets assignments and here I will click on the button edit assignments. So in the permission sets, you can see the available permission sets. So from the left side column available permission sets, you can select the permission set. Like in this example, I have selected the permission set contact center agent. And with the help of this arrows, I will add it to the enable permission set section. And after adding the permission set to the enable permission set section, you have to click on the save button. And with this, the permission set is assigned to the user. Now you can see the permission set that we have assigned to the user is appearing in this section. So this is how you can manually assign permission set to user in Salesforce. And now we will move ahead and see the process of assigning permission sets to the user using the Salesforce data loader tool. And to assign permission sets via the data loader tool, make, make sure that we have the admin access in Salesforce and also the Salesforce data loader tool installed on your computer and a list of user IDs and permission sets ID that you want to assign to the user. And after that, you will need a list of IDs of permission sets and the user that I will show you how you can get that. So let's move ahead and see the process. So as of now, I logged into my Salesforce developer account and to assign the permission sets to the user via the data loader, we need to prepare a CSV file. So first, let me show you how you will prepare the CSV file. So for that, we will create a CSV file with so in the CSV file, you need two header columns that is assignee ID and the permission set ID. So this assignee ID is going to be the ID of the users to whom you are going to assign the permission set and adjacent to the ID of that user, you have to enter the ID of the permission set that is going to assign to the user. So now we need a large number of user ID that is assignee ID and the permission set ID. So there are two ways to get this ID that either you can directly go to the URL I will show you how you can do that. So for example, you want the user ID. So you can go to the user setup again and here select the user that is active. And after you open the user setup, you can see in the URL this 15 digit code. So this is the user ID. So this 15 digit code is the user ID, but it is very time consuming when you will go to the each user page setup and collect the IDs from here. So the another way to get the user ID is through the export operation of the data loader so for that we have to click on the export button in the data loader and uh, as you click on the export button it will ask me for the 
login so here i will log in with my credentials and now in the second step we have to select the object so in this case we need the user id so i will select the object as user and after this we have to select the location for the extract file and then click on the next button and after this we have to select the query fields like what information that we want to extract in this data export operation so here we need the ids of the users so i will select the query field id here it is and also i will select the username so that i can identify the users to whom i want to assign the permission sets and we will make sure that we will assign permission sets to the active user so for that i will also select the query field that is is active this will show that user is active or not and after selecting the query fields we will click on the finish button and click and here click yes to proceed so as we can see the records are extracted and here we have to click on the open in external program so that we can copy the record and the ids so here you can see there are so many users that are not active so we have to only select the active users so from here i will select the users those are active and now i will go back to the csv file in which i have mentioned the header columns assignee id and the permission set id so here we only need the assignee id and the permission set id and i am entering the name of the user just to identify to which users we are assigning the permission set so that we can cross check later after assigning the permission sets and now we and after the assignee id we need the permission set id so for that we can again run a data export operation for that i will again click on the export button and here this time i will select the object permission set first you have to click on the checkbox show all salesforce object then select permission set object here it is then we have to select the extract location for this csv file also and here we need the query fields so for the query fields i will select id and the name of the permission set and after this click on the finish and at last click yes so here we got the ids of the permission sets also so from here you can see and select the id of the permission set that you want to assign to the user so in this example i am going to select only one permission set but you can assign multiple permission set to multiple user using the data loader tool so for example we will select this permission set that is chatter permission set so i will copy the id of the permission set from here and enter the same id in the csv file that we are through which we are going to assign the permission set so i will enter the id here and keep it same for all the users and now we will save this csv file and make sure that you have saved this in the csv version and that too on the location from where it can be accessed to the data loader and after selecting the file location click on the save button now we are going to perform the important task of this whole process that is assigning permission set to the data loader and for this operation you have to select the option insert so i will click on the insert button select the checkbox show all salesforce objects and then select permission set assignment here it is permission set assignment then we have to select the csv file that we have created right now and after selecting the csv file click on the next button now you can see the data loader will initialize the csv file and it is showing the number of rows that you have entered in the csv file and here click on the ok button to proceed and then click next and now in the mapping dialog window we have to map the csv header columns to the object field names for that first click on the button create or edit a map and in the mapping dialog window click on the button auto match field to the columns and as of now we have matched the assignee id and the permission set id these are the only two fields that we need to map and in case any of the field is not auto matched then you have to drag the field down to the column mapping and after mapping click on the ok button and in this mapping window click next and at last select the location for the error and the success file through which you can analyze the errors if if there is any error in the data operation and at last click on the finish button and you will get a warning message that you have chosen to insert new records so here click yes to proceed so here we got the error that we make some mistakes in entering the id so as of now i think this license limit is exceeded so please make sure that the permission set you are going to assign having the enough license incorrect type okay so i was keeping it same for all the accounts but so here is the mistake in the id of the permission set 
so let's change the permission set for so for this time i will select the permission set new permission set new user permission so i will copy the id from here and enter the same permission set id here So now we can see the data loader is accomplishing the data operation and after its completion we can see that we have three successful insert and zero errors so the error we were facing just because we were not assigning the right permissions set according to the license permissions of the users and now we will click on the button view successes so here we can see the item is created so make sure that you have selected the users that have permission license to get assigned to that particular permission set so this is how you can assign the permission set to the users using the salesforce data loader tool screen in the sales profile you can see these are the users to whom i have assigned the permission sets using the data loader tool and now you can also cross check so i will open the user and in the permission set section of this user you can see this is the commerce admin users license that we have assigned so this is how you can assign permission set to the user using the salesforce beta loader tool and i hope you have understood all the process and make sure that you take the precautions like taking the right user id and the permission set id so that you can efficiently assign the permission set to the user using the salesforce beta loader tool so i hope that you have understood whatever i have explained in the video so if you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that every time we upload a new video you will get a notification regarding that and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye